We find some of the weirdest things in the storage locker sometimes. Previously on Locker Nuts, I bought two storage lockers at the auction because I was curious to find out why did these units come up for auction three times? What was in there that the owner paid to keep them twice before? In the first unit, we found tons of really cool vintage items and a bunch of money. Incredible finds. So now we are digging into the second unit, and we've already found more money and some gold jewelry. But sometimes the profit comes from more odd finds. Back to the hunt. Let's see what we find. All right, Tyler's here. You want to say hi to the uh, Locker Nut hey. fans? He's a big fan himself, and he's ready to get working. Uh, he's about to start an internship. But today he had the day off, so he offered to help. And I said, I got the perfect locker because this one is good. This is yeah. good. You're going to think they're all like this, but they're not. <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> they're not. This one has been good and is getting even better. Um, we put all these boxes aside here, and I peeked in them. But I didn't go through them because I want Tyler to go through them and uh, get a little bit of thrill because it's going to be it's gonna be fun. You ready to get started? Yep. All right. All right, you ready? Yeah. Let's get started on this first box right here. Old magazines, huh? Modern maturity. I see some good stuff below that. Though. Probably grandma's magazine. Yeah. Let's just probably dump those. What's in the? That's just a bag. If there's no money in there. This is this locker. The other one? No. Yeah, you can just. Uh, we got a garbage can right here. You just start dumping. Uh, the other locker, I really did find an envelope with cash in it, in a drawer with paper, like notepads and j junk mail. And there was a, uh, what's that? It's an old mail. It's all paperwork. That's Sports Illustrated. I know people are going to comment, those are so collectible. Yeah, what did you say? 1992? Yeah. yeah. Winter Olympics? That's cool. Let's just dump it down. Ooh. NSX, that's cool. That's a good car. Love to have that. All right, we're getting a little bit better here. Ooh, yeah. That's looking good, huh? Those are it's all for video games. Yeah, all the manuals. And what's that, GI Joe? That... Ooh. Heck yeah. This has got some cross collectability on it because we got Atari 2600 and GI Joe. So those both those collectors will take really interested in that. This looks pretty good. But that's a that's a weird looking 2600. Have you seen a 2600 before? Uh yes, but not like that, not huh? Like that. That's a I think this must be newer. I don't see a date. Huh. Alright, well that yeah, got me. Here. This is good. But this is not garage sale stuff. Because we gotta look at that. Yep. That's pretty cool though, huh? They got all the cords and stuff. Star Raiders. I don't know, maybe something like this is worth money. The Atari 2600s actually aren't worth very much money. Oh, look at this. I've never seen one of those before. Challenger. It's like These an aftermarket. Is that one too, huh? Yeah. That's a Sega. Huh. I found Sega a Sega system in the other locker. And it's not supposed to sound like that though. Cool. These are worth money too. Yeah. We sell those. Cool, you wanna put those back in? That's a good box, right? Yeah. Yeah. Probably gonna be more video game stuff too. Yeah. Let's read this one. Isn't that cool? Oh these are old card books. It's pretty sweet, huh? Yeah. They're all like, there's Volkswagen Beetle, there's an old Mazda, but most of them are like that Camaro, like muscle cars. So let's see if this is tools. Because it could also be guns, right? Man, it's tools. Oh, WD-40, I'm taking that home. Hmm. That's cool. That's junk. What's that, though? It's for your car. What's in here? Let's check in there. Oh, 
a little cologne. Let's do lauder for a man. Hmm. This might be worth something. This is DJ Tools. I never heard of that. Taiwan, so that usually doesn't mean good stuff. But uh, the tools look for um, like Snap On or Mac tools, and uh, they'll be worth a lot of money. They could be worth a lot of money. All right, Got another toolbox. Some tools. So, the sun is like blistering hot. What are those? Got four. Probably the whole set here. It's Taiwan. Taiwan. The guys will come in the morning. Ooh, it's got some interesting stuff in it. Look at this. This tip's broken off it. That's different, huh? Yeah. Nah. Uh, if, we, if we saw Snap on, that'd be some money. Here's Japan, that's a little better. Nah. All right, I'll let someone else dig through that. All right, next box. That's a good one. Oh, is that comic books? Yeah. Pretty good, huh? They're in great shape too. All bagged and boarded. Yeah. What dollar ninety five? So not too new, but I don't know what those are. Nineties maybe? Yeah, ninety six. Oh, okay, that's good, huh? X Men. A lot. Ooh, Joker. Joker. That's cool. I the boat. Wow, look at that. That's sweet. The last, but I found a bunch of comic books in the other locker from the same guy. I think we sold them for like we sold. That's interesting. X Men playing cards or collectible cards. Huh. Last, uh, the last batch I got out of the other locker, I sold them for like two bucks each. It's like they bought them at the comic book store and then they just put it in the box. Oh my, the bags. The flash. That's older, huh? Yeah. Okay. This right. is, I think. Dollar seventy-five. It looks older, but yeah. pretty cool, huh? Yeah, Do you like comics? Um, I used to a lot. I got like three thousand comics in my garage right now. It's a lot. <laughs> I bought a unit just for the comics. That's good though. If we got two bucks each on these, that's uh, we won't. But I mean, we'll do two bucks. They'll pick through it, and we'll sell the rest for a dollar each or blow them out. But this is probably a hundred dollar box right here. It's good. The thing is though, these guys, they had. Oh, wait a second. That's not closed. I was gonna say these guys had tons of jerseys, collectible jerseys from the eighties. Uh. The lady is a champ. Who's it? It's an Adidas. Oh, Divine Missy. That's like concert, uh, concert book, right? I think maybe not. It looks like the type of thing you buy at a concert and pay like twenty-five bucks for. That could That's be collectible. Sure. It's all, it's all bent up there. Yeah, it's an Adidas photography book. Summer two thousand four. Interesting. What is it? Look at this box. Incredibly old. Peter Rabbit. Oh, this is good stuff. I think this is like dishware in the in the cup set. This is old. Look at the. I think it's called crazing. See how the it's all like cracked. Looks like a dry riverbed. It's older. Wedgwood, huh? I think Wedgwood's very collectible. They got a lot of Peter Rabbit stuff. Maybe the other one's missing. Got some candy in here. Okay, here, check those cards. I found a uh, hundred bucks in one of the cards here. <laughs> right out of the dresser. There was a card with five twenties in it. I mean, I found more than that. I found fifty bucks in the other one. It's, it's I've these guys left the money in cards. I don't know why. Not those ones, so, huh? Cool. 
Ooh. Oh man, a lot of cards. A lot of cards. We can go through that later if you want. It's not like I'll super. Mm -hmm. Not super exciting. Boo. Just three. Three years old. See, that's, you don't give three year olds money. Yeah. You're just gonna eat it. If they did, it's taken out by now. This is pretty cool. I've never seen one of those before. It's old games are collectible, but it's kind of a pain because they gotta go through them and see if they're complete. I don't, I don't know, know if that one is. It's pretty sweet though. Yeah. I'd say that's at least five bucks even at a flea market or garage sale. But I'll have to look that up. That's cool. Mighty Mouse. Okay. This has the board. Not very fancy game. Nike? Yeah, it's still. It's Jordan. Oh. Really? I mean, open it? Nah. I'll do it later. I'll see if I can scan it and see if I can figure out who it is based on the barcode. Because it might be better. It says 1992. That's kind of. That's it's cool. the art of the Jordan dunk. Art of the Jordan, huh? He had that real famous one where he had his wing, wingspan. Like he had his arms out and he was holding the ball in one hand. That one's worth some money, I think. I don't know about this, this one. This is one of him dunking. I don't know what it looks like. Though. That's cool. But it's still in the wrap, so. Globetrotters program. It's thrash, though. It's neat. Speaker. Ooh, that's neat. Yeah, it's... A little boombox. That looks like it's in good shape. It is. Sony Soundwriter. We'll have to look that up. These are becoming collectible. The vintage ones. The bigger the better, but it still might be worth some money. Well, maybe someone will buy a 1996 version of Microsoft Windows. <laughs> it's probably garbage. It was better than clothes, though. Yeah. Most of it. Just up. Black Gangster. Jay-Z. Jay -Z. Sampler, huh? Back Dre. Is there more? Ooh. I got a guy who wants to look at this. Looks like they went to like a... It says KML. I bet you they went to like some kind of KML party or something. These are all like freebies they gave out. Flex G. The G-Z one could be good. Yeah. Oh, E.T. E.T. poster. Oh, Two of them. That's pretty legit. <laughs> Very cool. 80s. That's my generation. <laughs> Who's this guy? Max. Never found that gun. Oh. We do a thumbnail, found good. <laughs> That's an interesting guy. Oh, wait. What's that? This reminds me of the kind that we would have used in school. Oh, what is, what is this? The Boglins. There's another one in another box over there. Boglins. Do not supply with tools. Check him out. I think he maybe is a puppet or something. That could have some value right here. He's really dirty though, huh? Yeah, I'll have to look into that. That's interesting. Caution will eat anything. I think they're trying to play I off the I think there's coins in here. There's what? Coins? Yeah. Really? Maybe. Is it a bank? Yeah, I think so. It does look like it has a screw bottom on it. There's coins here. Not sure where it goes in. Yeah, that could be interesting. The box is thrashed though, huh? Yeah. Should we crack them open? It's like panels and stuff in there too. Oh no, they just shoved something under him. He is a puppet, I think. Whoa. It's a bunch of pennies. Yeah, the sun's so bright, can't see anything.
Interesting. <laughs> That's a good thumbnail right there. <laughs> it's ugly. We got some pop rocks. Block a few challenge. Basic fun adventure game. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. No video. I think I found one or two other ones in this, in these lockers too. That's cool. It's in good shape too. It is. It looks like it's brand new, huh? Yeah. You got the stickers on it and everything. It's Sony. That's good. We'll look that up after. Those those sometimes are worth selling on eBay. I've got over 120 bucks for one just recently. Yours is? 75 maybe in good shape. Which this one is anything but. I don't even it's know how to clean seven. something like this because that rubber is pretty. I don't know, it's like deteriorating almost. Oh, there's three of them. Brand new in the box, it's about 110. So would you say 40 or 50 outside the box? Yeah, but those are in better shape, so I'm not totally sure. Mm -hmm. It's probably gotta be at least 30 or 40 though, even with the box, if the box is deteriorated. You got this piece. That's a good find. And we got one more too. A lot of them don't have this thing in it. So I'm not I think that's like just somebody's uh, yeah. little cup they put their change in and they just stuck them on there. Yeah, they just added it to them. So he doesn't like get all misshaped from sagging down. Probably did keep it shaped. Probably did. It's creepy looking. Alright you guys, so I hope you liked watching that. Me and Tyler found some more good stuff. And of course my favorite of the day or of this segment of the day, was these Boglins, and we found two. So we found D-Work right here. D-Work, that's the guy you saw Tyler pulling out, taking a closer look at. And we also found Drool. Drool is a uh, much better shape here. And um, they, but, but both of them are like, you can see the top is like dirty. I couldn't get it off, I brushed them off, but they've been sitting somewhere that's dirty and funky because with the vents on the box, the dust just goes right inside. Um, so unfortunately, the guys are not in the best condition, but this guy's not too bad. The boxes are pretty cool, though. See, they're shaped like crates with the vents. The um, It's great marketing, isn't it? Look at this. The, the gate comes up, and that's how you get him out. There's also a hole on the bottom so that you can work him while he's in the box because they are puppets. They are puppets, and they are very cool puppets. Uh, let's see if I can get him to work here. Let's see if I can get him to come alive. You got a nice flexible rubber and the eyes. The eyes are what really get you. That's what makes them really come alive. Locker nuts. So, yeah, pretty cool. Um, 1987. I was 17. I don't remember these things because I don't think I was really into that sort of thing. When I was 17, I was more into my car and my job and uh, playing poker with my buddies. I wasn't buying puppets. But, uh,. Still very cool. These are collectible and going up in value apparently. So this guy right here, I should be able to get 50 to 80 in that condition. This one, not so much because the box is thrashed, but also his eyes don't work properly. They're kind of seized up and one is loose. So when you move him around, his eye just floats around. So I don't know about him. 20, 25 bucks. Probably going to move him at the flea market. This guy right here is going on eBay though. Very cool find. Cool find. Cool, cool find, lots of cool finds, but actually an even cooler find this week. So it's actually something we found earlier. I'm going to show you real quick the video right here. You're going to see that green suitcase at the top of the locker. This clip is from the first episode. So right when I first went in that locker, I didn't even take notice of it, but the suitcase was heavy and I could hear some stuff jingling around. So I brought it home, threw it in the garage, thinking I'm going to go through this later. Then we find out the Jeebuses are coming to town and they're going to be at the flea market. And I was looking for something to unbox out there, so I grabbed that suitcase, <laughs> and it was great. So here, I'm gonna play that clip for you again real quick so you can see how that turned out. Okay, this is like a YouTube dream right here. We got the Jeebus team helping me do the unboxing at the flea market. I'm scared. There's a snake in there, isn't it? It's gonna bite me. It's gonna bite me. I don't trust right, you guys. Three, two, one. 
Oh, Toys! Whoa. Yeah, so we got Ninja Turtle. Are that Ninja Turtle notes? So one of the items, we knew there were Star Wars figures in there, we're excited about that, 1980s, there's even I think one or two from the 70s, but one Star Wars figure which we didn't think anything of, you'll see right there, it's a Luke Skywalker with a camo poncho, he is from what they call the Last 17, that's from Return of the Jedi, and uh, I guess it, the Last 17 characters that were released apparently weren't mass produced like some of the earlier ones. Um, no, I shouldn't say that. The early ones were, were not mass produced. But once things started getting in full stride and they figured out how people love this kind of thing, they are mass producing it. But the last 17, um, not so much. So those are actually rarer. And that means they're more valuable. So this guy put him up for auction. He wound up having the gun in his holster, which is fantastic because the weapons are almost always lost. So sold him on auction, 7-day eBay. Hundred and fifty two dollars and fifty cents. Unbelievable, right? Incredible. Hundred and fifty two dollars for a loose Star Wars figure. What's really incredible is that I have the one in the package still for sale for two hundred and thirty nine dollars. That's the one I mentioned in an earlier video. It's getting tons of views, tons of watchers, but hasn't sold. But two hundred and thirty nine bucks you get basically a mint character. The card's in rough shape, but the mint character or hundred and fifty two dollars for a loose one. Oh, I don't know. But eBay's great, isn't it? <laughs> Would never get $152 for a loose character at the flea market or on Facebook or anything else. You gotta love eBay. So, if you guys, real quick, if you would, please hit the thumbs up button. Okay, if you like these sort of videos and want to see more, also the subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. I appreciate when you do. But maybe the most important is that bell icon. Hit that, and you'll be notified when I put out future videos. Alright, so until next time, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Locker Nets.